Stan here from Ocean VFX with another quick tutorial, this time all about M Lowers Bar. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how to use them, adjust them, and make them perfect for your project. To use any of your purchased title templates, let's open the Title Template tab of Final Cut Pro. Next, select the M Lowers Bar collection to preview them in your library. This pack has 50 adjustable titles to choose from. To preview any of the title templates, drag your mouse cursor over them. To use any of them in your project, just drag them into your timeline, or select them and press the Q key to place them as a connected clip at your time indicator. Different titles may have different positions, but you can make changes to all your titles right in the canvas using the on-screen controls. The on-screen controls let you quickly change the position, rotation, and scale of your templates. Templates in this collection will have text that are on colored bars. To make further changes to our title, make sure it's selected in our timeline, and let's open the inspector. Inside the inspector, Click the Title Template options as the default video properties may be selected. Animation in and out will determine if the template will use the build in and build out animations packaged with the template. Here's an example of the different options. Below are controls for the position, scale, and rotation. These are the same as the on-screen controls. You can use the inspector to change our text or the color of our text items. A lot of these titles are on solid bars, and using the title bar opacity, we can turn this down to make it a bit more transparent or turn it all the way off. Like one of the templates, but you don't want a subtitle? Use the checkboxes to select which ones you want to use in your template. Each of these templates will have auto-adjusting title bars, meaning when you change your text, the bars will automatically expand or contract. However, there are times that you want to make adjustments, and that's what these title bar offsets are used for. And if you ever need to go beyond the maximum of the slider, just drag the numerical values. Using a combination of the offsets and the text positioning and other text items, you can completely change the layout of how your text behaves inside these bars. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna drag this title into my project here and I wanna point something out. I've got this right in the bottom of my screen and I wanna adjust this a little bit. So I'm gonna move it to the very top and I'm gonna hit this title transparency button. And what that'll do is it'll fill in that transparency and let me finish my layout to use this as a locator for a title. In addition to having their build in and build out, if I drag this all the way out and I play this back, you're gonna notice this secondary animation that was happening, but it's a little slower and stretched out due to the way the Final Cut works. Now that might be a little distracting, so I can turn this off by using the middle animation hold button. And by disabling that, now when I play this back, it won't have that secondary animation that we just saw earlier. One more thing before we go. By selecting our text in the inspector, we can actually highlight just part of a text and change it. So in this case, I'm making this bold, but we can even change the font and other text parameters. Using the inspector this way, you can make these different changes without having to add a second layer. Again, my name is Stanislaw Liberta from Motion VFX, and if you're looking for more great plugins, templates, and tutorials, please visit motionvfx.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.